Hi, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Brad, so we just did a video on best home exercises for someone after they've had a total hip replacement. Right. Now we're going to advance those. Right. These are guys, you know, these are the top of the class. <laughs> guys that are getting better. Right. In other words, if you're still using a walker and having a difficulty with your balance, you're not ready for this. This is, you're done with the walker, you're using the cane confidently, you're walking outside, but you want to get to the point where you can walk on grass, maybe you want to get to golfing, something of that nature. It's probably two to three months at least after surgery before you're going to attempt these. Right. Probably these are high end. Right. Yep. Okay. First one. Bob, why don't you lay down on your back? All right. So we're going to say that this is the right hip is the one that was done. So bring this knee up, Bob, and foot's down so you're in this position. Okay, so you're reasonably comfortable. You can do these on your bed. And lift that leg up, uh, keep the leg straight, and bring it up as high as you feel comfortable. I've got somebody right now, he's 58 years old, in this exact same position of his rehab, and he goes way up, he's got good flexible legs, but you may not go that high. That's no problem. Well, don't do this, right Brad? Right, what's Bob doing, you may not see it, but he's pointing his toe out to the side. You wanna keep your toe up and towards the ceiling. Same with this, don't go this way. Right, keep it right straight up and down. And it's important to bring this leg up. It's going to help your back. It's going to give you more stability. And uh, just, just do it. You can do it without it, and you'll see why. 10 to 15 of these is good. If it feels good after 10 to 15 and you want more, you can do two sets. In other words, rest for a minute or so, do another set of 10 or 15, and then you can go up to three sets. If you get past that, it might be time to put a weight around your ankle, but we're not going to get into that because you'll probably be out golfing by then. Okay. The second one is you're going to lay on your side. I'm going to actually going to switch hips now. This yep. is going to be the hip replacement yep. now. They just switched surgeries on me. <laughs> okay, so the hip that was just done is this. This is your new hip on top. The bottom leg, you're going to bend a little bit like this. Bend the knee so you get a little more stability. Use a pillow. Put a smile on your face. There you go. Okay, now the knee and the leg should be straight. And this is kind of hard to see from this angle, but if the hip drops back this way too far, yeah. and then you start doing something like this halfway between what we call a straight leg raise and hip abduction, it's no good. Get it over. There we go. So you're nice and straight up and down this way. Um, here, let Bob, let me get back here. Oh, big feet, Bob. <laughs> okay, you're going to go up, and don't let this happen. Don't let your toe go up when you do the hip abduction straight ahead everything this way stays in line and this is not an easy exercise to no do. it's not this is definitely advanced especially when you have a long leg like me right and you know when I do that with uh, people uh, fatiguing he's fatiguing already I will actually help there's a family member a friend that can kind of give just a finger touch Bob's tired <laughs> you're gonna feel it right up yeah. here if you only can do five uh, of them, that's fine. Rest a little bit. It's nice to put a pillow in here. Here, let me take that pillow, sure. Bob. Just, just makes it a little more comfortable. That'll when, help. When yeah. you're resting. Yep, that definitely helps. Gives a better starting point, too. You may start out at maybe two sets of five and work it up to one <laughs> or two sets of ten. When you can do three sets of ten of these, all right after another. Yeah, you're, you're working. and You're... You're doing well. This one is going to eliminate this kind of walking, that Trendelenburg gait, we call it. Thanks for getting me nice and sore, Brad. <laughs> All, right, All right, next one is the chair. Now Bring we the, go to a chair. A lot of times people have problems getting off of lower chairs because, for one thing, you're not allowed to bend forward very far to stand up because of your hip precaution. So Bob's going to demonstrate. Often you start with arms, right. scoot to the edge, yep. and like that. Right. Not, not going too far forward like this. Right. You don't want that new hip to pop out of the socket. Right. So, and then when I get stronger, I can start maybe using one hand. Right. Progress it up. And if you do 10 of these in a row, nice, good, slow control like this, you're going to feel it. In those quads, quads and maybe a little bit in your hip extensors. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you can even go like this. This is getting pretty advanced. And then the most difficult of all. Oh, yeah. 
Good. Keep going, Bob. Let's like see if a, we can get you. A genie. <laughs> get me out of here. All right. Okay. We got one more, so just wait. All this right. I'll let you show this one, Brad. Okay. This one, you're going to start up against the wall. We don't have an actual wall here, but imagine we got a wall going here. My right hip is the one that was replaced. I'm going to stand with good posture, shoulders back, put my hands up on the wall, and actually it's most important that the opposite hand, if it's my right hip, my left arm is going to go back this way, and at the same time, my right hip is going to extend like this. You're going to need the other hand probably for balance, unless you're really good balance, strong. But most people after total He's hip doing will this. definitely need this. Uh, th then you should do both sides anyways, right arm and the left leg, even if it was the right hip. And you can do 10 on that side. And if you're getting stronger, you can do 15. And if you're feeling really good, you can do it without the wall. And reach up and extend back. Extend back. Show Bob. Show them where they're going to feel that, Bob. Well, you're going to feel it here. It's a good posture one, actually. Yeah, do it again. Right across here. Yeah. That's why you want to work both sides so you get all the muscles in the back. And like Bob said, it is a good one for posture. And balance. And, and balance. Strength. The whole thing. It's a great deal. It's the whole package, baby. You bet. Four advanced exercises. When you get through those and you can do them well, you're going to be ready to go golfing. You're going to be ready to go swimming. Whatever your activities were, if you're a younger person, if, uh, if not, you know, that's okay. Yeah, that's all right. So keep on, uh, what should they do? Don't leave me hanging here. Oh, you want to subscribe. Yeah, slap that subscribe button. Yeah, I was looking right. on that computer. I couldn't find a subscribe button, Bob. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I'm I give up on them. <laughs> I give up. I was serious, Bob. I looked. I could not find it.